Okay, I am starting this recording 6 a.m. on the nose, and today is June, July the 3rd, the 3rd of July, 7321, 7321, 6 a.m. I prolonged this message for about a good strong week now. I shared it with someone and I was like, I felt I had to share it with a certain person and here it is a week later. I'm being haunted or heavily impressed to share this message or share the, share this download. But what it's concerning is now that the tables have turned and those of us that are going to be used to represent God's power, God's Love, happiness, glory here on this land. There are going to be some upset people with us. And many of us, all of us are on different levels. But we have babies, toddlers, Preteens, teens, young adults, adults, seniors in the transition. So that means we all of us are at a different place in this table turning event of the spiritual. So I kind of want to give this message to those that may be just tapping into their knowledge of themselves, of God's power, angels, ancestors, the universe, their spiritual gift, their intuition. The ones that realized that it's something else. You're new to this. And I guess the message could pertain to us all because no matter what level we're on, we still have to certain things be focused on regarding what different entities, energies, people are doing around us. I guess the Bible say be harmless as doves, but wise as a serpent. So we have to be conscious and aware of what's around us and what concoctions or, or methods, strategies, enemies that may be in our immediate environment to just be aware of it. But what this message is about is those of us that's new in this spiritual walk and you joined, you're involved in the transition that the universe God has done, Praise God, you, you, you on this side. But there are a lot of people and things, places that are, that are upset because certain things needed your energy, needed your support, needed your codepending, needed whatever they fed off of you 
to strengthen them in some egotistical way, you you've withdrawn it and and surrendered to another view of this matrix. You've surrendered to leave the matrix. So now that those that are still on the other side within the matrix, they're not pleased with that joyful, happy decision we've made. So there are many things that may come against us that we need to be aware of. And I'm going to let it be known that there's a big difference between being aware and conscious of it. But the objective is do not take your eyes off of your goal, off of your spiritual uplifting evolution. Because once the focus, attention goes to some other energy, direction. The consequences go that way as well. So right now, within the spiritual realm, within this table turning of the wealth turning over to the wicked, the last shall be first, the first shall be last, escaping out of this matrix... Now that that switch has happened, there's going to be a process of evolving on this side. And part of that evolving on the other side is how to handle the things that's going to come, try to come against us in the natural. It's, it's, and it's coming through familiar faces, familiar places. Familiar things, trying to get you to get your attention, get your focus. Some of us, the babes, and I will say, like I say, even some adults in the walk, because we can never be too highly that we don't stumble. So, the objective of the enemy is to get the focus. Where attention goes, energy flows. As a man thinketh, so is he. Some people may be, I guess some may call it soul ties. Cutting the cords, sexually trapped, it's, uh, a spell. But but what I feel in my spirit is is pleading with the collective. Your objective is to not care about what any or who or what a person, people, or place is trying to have hold on you. That is not your business. We're in a different walk now. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. It's the universe. It's the angels. It's the ancestors. It's God's. The only thing we have to focus on is our inner being evolving, growing, prospering within, becoming one with the universe, with source, with all power, with God. That should be our only aim. Again, we could be aware and conscious of it, but how to fight it, what to do to get it off of us, 
That's burnt out energy. You're falling right in line with that whatever trying to have a hold on you. They like the fight. Whether it's in a spiritual realm, you thinking you're doing what you have to do to get whatever powerful for you. Oh, that lower energy like that. Because now they know they got your attention on them. We may be thinking it's so good what we're doing, but we got to go beyond what we're seeing in the natural and and leave what belongs to God, leave it to God. Let God, the universe, the Father, ancestors fight your battle. Excuse me. The reason I'm saying this is because I've heard people trying to break certain soul ties, sex, sex break their past sexual partners, grip on them, doing some weird stuff, but... Again, you may think you're doing something good, but it's you being involved. You know, I've heard people telling other people that's trying to break soul ties, cut the cords by putting stuff inside their vagina, by spells, speaking this lighting this I mean it may sound good but to take the burden off your shoulder because God's burden is light his yoke is easy That's something that should fall by the wayside. When we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, focusing on ourselves, becoming more knowledgeable of who we are and whose we are, evolving within ourselves to become strong with oneness, with our Father, with the Creator, with the universe. We'll find that all of that other stuff will just fall to the wayside. They will starve because they're not getting any energy, any attention. Your thoughts, your actions has nothing to do with these issues, people, things, places that is not in the direction of your calling. It is not up to you, with God's help, to fight some sort of battle with some natural 3D concoctions. You you say what you mean and mean what you say and keep going towards your higher calling. What what paying attention and doing things within with your participation to fight some type of demons or energies or negative whatever putting energy to that what it's doing it's prolonging God's process on edifying building lifting you higher that's it's prolonging it it's prolonging receiving the blessings of this side and that's the enemy's objective to hinder he can't stop it but he can hinder it he can prolong it there's nothing he could do to stop it but 
in the meantime and in between time, you going through a fight, a struggle, getting burnt out, cycles that you've been delivered from. People you've been delivered from, but they're they're still holding on energetically. And reason being, your energy is connected as well. Cut the cords. Stay in one accord. Stay in one accord with your creator, with your God, with your higher power, with your oneness within yourself. Stay in one accord. That will cut the cord. What cord? The enemy is up under our feet. He tried to raise his head, but you got to cut the head off. And to do that is to stay in one accord. That will cut all ties, all cords, sexually, financially, mentally, physically, whatever. It will cut every cord when we're staying in one accord. I don't have nothing against physical connections with the spiritual Because again, I have energy sprays, oils, bath salts, perfume for attraction, manifestation, dispelling negative energies. I don't have nothing against connecting the 3D with the 5D. But why are you connecting it? When you're using your tools in the natural to connect spiritually in the 5D, 6D, whatever, why don't, why are you using it to just, to put energy towards something that's not in your direction? We need to stay in our lane and let God and his angels do their work. That's their warfare. Not ours. The more we focus on our oneness, the battle's already been won. The victory has already been won. We are more than conquerors. The battle is over. We don't have to pick it up. So let us be mindful of taking a second thought to advice that is given to us to do so much in the natural realm to receive what we're asking for. If what we're asking for is not taking us to the higher power, higher dimensions, higher frequencies within ourselves. If we're desiring a certain person, sometimes we could be sincerely wrong. We should never put a name to nothing. We should never tie God in a, put God in a box like you're tying his hands. Oh, it's got to be this way. You then you being God of your life. Yes, God may share with us certain things. But that's not for us to lock, to block the hands of the universe, the hands of God. Don't put a name. Don't.
Don't put a place. Don't put a time, a limit. We can do it as part of the manifestation, but don't lock it in. When you see things going a different way or a different time, a different different person, don't put God in a block box. Don't tie the hands of the spirit. Leave your hands open for God to put in, for God to take out, for the Spirit to move as the Spirit will. We are free. People are free to decide to do what they choose. Let us not be a part of being God by putting God in a box because he's going to let you. And you're just connecting to energies that's taking, prolonging your resurrection to other dimensions, to other free, higher frequencies. You're prolonging your, your journey. So let us live and let live and allow God to be God. Allow the universe to be free. Allow the angels to do what they do. The only thing we need to do is send our angels out to fight our battles. Whatever, whoever is blocking or or stopping. Say what you mean and mean what you say and you get back on that in our lane. And what you don't put no more energy. Once you say what you say, go about your way. And let spirit fight spirit. And we focus on raising our spiritual level. Knowledge, wisdom. Let us rise. We're not, we're in it, but we're not of it. Don't be a part of it. It's not our fight. Release it. Everything else will fall to the wayside. We'll get burnt up. You keep the enemy, we keep the enemy under our feet and the heads chopped off because we're not focused on it. As a man thinketh, so is he. We're thinking on all thoughts that are good, lovely, and pure. And anything ugly that pops his head up, say what you mean and mean what you say and get back on track. Get back under my feet where you belong. And start back. Thanking, being in a gratitude, thankful attitude. Our weapons are not carnal. They are not flesh and blood. This is a spiritual battle. So we need to let that spiritual battle be doing what it do. It may look like flesh and blood. But don't give flesh and blood that attention. Whether it's people, place, or thing, do not give it the attention. You say what you say and mean what you say and get back in a thankful gratitude, beauty, love, joy, peace. That's our weapon. That will keep the enemy under our feet. That will keep the head cut off. That is a process. But we can do it. We can rise daily, second by second, if we have to. Keep bouncing back. Don't keep feeding the enemy, making it stronger while you get weaker. And it goes across the board. It will 
touch everything in our lives. So don't give no open door, window, crack to the enemy. Stay focused on what you are doing to better your life. Inwardly and outwardly and watch everything else fall to the wayside. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. Say what you mean and mean what you say and keep going. You didn't put a name. You're not going to ever put a name. You're not going to put a time. Again, we can confess things, but do not block God when things start going different ways. Allow God, the universe, to be free to do what we're destined to. To do because we are God. Let yourself be free as God and watch all else fall to the wayside, and there will be peace on all sides. The earth is our footstool, it's there to lift us up. So let us use whatever the devil means for evil. It will turn out for our good. So stay focused on good. Sound cliche, but again, our weapons are not carnal. They are not natural weapons. They are spiritual. And the way we fight a spiritual battle is to stay in love, joy, peace. Those are our weapons. And all that other stuff, negativity, energy, negative energies out here in this natural realm, leave that to the angels and ancestors and God, the universe. That's not our fight. Our fight has already been won. We need to speak that and believe that and know that. And keep that enemy under our foot and the head chopped off. So, stay joyful. Stay gratitude. Stay in gratitude. Stay in your glory. Have a blessed day.